So here's the formula challenge from ExcelXOR.com. Here's the link, and the challenge is this. How can we calculate the value of white and black chess pieces? So here we have the chessboard uh, right in here, and this is the beginning of the chess game. We have the black pieces up here at the top, the white pieces down here. And these letters are just a code for this is black pawn across the top, white pawns here, and all of these combinations represent the pieces. So let's take a look. This is the winning formula. It is the shortest formula that was submitted. And right now at the beginning of the chess game, the pieces are equal. So it's a zero. Now if I take off three of these black pawns, we're going to see that is now three. A positive number means that white has three additional points of material. Uh, and a negative number means that it's the opposite. So if I take off, let's say, the white rook, I just delete that. Now it's a minus five. That means that black has five additional points of material. The white knight is worth three. If I take this piece off the board, now it's minus eight. So this is all happening automatically due to this formula. So let's walk over to the solution here. This was the actual setup of the, of the board. It wasn't at the beginning. It was sort of partially through a game, probably not even a real game. But let's now figure out exactly how this long formula works. Step one. Uh, the range is simply referring to this A1 to, to H8. That's just referring to our chessboard here. That is step one. Step two, that is our criteria, the count if criteria, which is right there. There's two array constants here. You notice those special brackets here. The first array constant gives us B for black, W for white. The second array constant gives us the pieces all the different pieces, not including the king. But we have pawn, knight, bishop, rook, and queen. So that is what's in the criteria, those two different array constants. Step three, that's where we're going to create all these pieces uh, for the steps that come after this. So we go back in here. If I go like this, highlight the criteria, I press the F9 key, or if you're on a laptop, you might have to hold down the Fn key, and then press the F9 key. And now we see all of the pieces created for a black pawn, white pawn, black knight, white knight, and all the way through. So that is very, very interesting. If we go back here, uh, let's do this one more time. Highlight the criteria, F9, and you notice that we have the pieces separated by a comma, then a semicolon. So it's sort of a two-dimensional uh, array here, array constant, because we've got the, the two pieces and we have, or the two, the two colors, black and white, and we have the pieces and there's five of them. Uh, so it uses the comma here and the semicolon here to create that two-dimensional uh, sort of criteria within side of the count if. So let's go to step four. Now what we're doing is the result of the count if is basically counting how many of the pieces each side has. So if I highlight this and I go exactly like this, press the F9 key, we go through here, this would mean five is... Uh, black pawns, the first five. The second five is white pawns. And the one is, uh, we just sort of continue to go through here. That That's a knight. So the white knight and black knight. But it's kind of hard to distinguish this. So that's why we have the next step. Now what we want to do is multiply what we had up here by a minus one and a one so that we get this. That's what gives us uh, the distinction between the black and white pieces. So if I highlight all of this plus multiply by minus one and one, now we're getting negative numbers are the black pieces, counting the black pieces. Uh, a positive value is counting the white pieces. So we're getting towards the end. Step six, that is now, uh, we're count we've counted the pieces up here, but we want to now include the value of the pieces because we know that pawns are worth one, knights and bishops are worth three points, a rook is worth five points, and you see over here at the end, a queen is worth nine points. And that is just a general thing. It depends on the position, of course. But let's go back in here and see that. If I highlight everything inside of the sum, which is our count if and multiply by minus one and one to do the, the counting to distinguish between white and black. And finally, over here, the pieces, if I do all of this, F9, now we see all of these numbers, which we're going to see right in there. 
and we're almost done. All we have to do now is just wrap it with the sum, which is this part here, and we see a minus 3. And that is because black has additional three points of material. Maybe it's uh, three extra pawns, maybe it is an extra bishop or an extra knight. So here in the chessboard, let, let's go back in here and just kind of randomly put on three white pawns. One, two, and three. Now we see that the score is even. It's a zero. But if I take these off again, we go back to minus three. Now if I add a white bishop, once again, it goes back to zero. So this was an amazing challenge from ExcelXOR.com, and Bill Scissors created this winning solution.